they stay on the lips so well and when I drink from glasses and also eat ramen this stays on like a charm. Skincare is much bigger because I prioritize my skincare so much more. Hey everyone, welcome to How Chic. So today I'm going to show you what I am going to bring with me in terms of makeup and skincare on a weekend trip out to a campsite, which is gonna be a glamping session and we hired out a yurt and we're gonna stay there for the weekend and we're gonna enjoy a nice escape from the city into the countryside and probably I'm gonna take lots of pictures, videos and I'm just gonna enjoy the nature and relax over there. I usually take a weekend bag with me. I've had this for years. When did I last get this? I think I had this about seven years ago. So if you ask me if these still exist, I have no idea. This is actually from Coach. So it's from an outlet that my mom saw in the US and it's been really handy because it's got this zipper pocket. And inside is the main bag, which folds out a little bit like the Longchamp bags, but I find that this is more luxurious in my opinion. It looks like this, it's huge. And then what's good about this is that you can clip it on the inside. And then you have another separate pocket, which you can store smaller little things in there. So this is a really useful size and it's very comfortable to hold and I've used to use this for so many travel events especially just for the weekend and you just want something simple just to take with you. Um, another good thing that you can do with this is that you can use it as a clutch if you are going out in wherever you are going and this is what I'm going to be using. So I have both my skincare and my makeup. Skincare is much bigger because I prioritize my skincare so much more and I think the health of your skin is the most important. Makeup I'd say keep it a little bit more minimal. Something that's fresh, clean and something that you can play with a bit of color then that's fine. If you have the main base of your skin good then I think with any outfit you can just build on that. So let's start off with the skincare bag. I got this in a sale from Victoria's Secret. They're pretty handy. I like how it's clear and it's big. And when you open it, it's just this one huge opening, just like that. Here I have just a little pouch. This contains my hairbrush. It contains just bubbles, clips, and little tiny knickknacks that I need. Then I have some makeup remover. This is like a bifacil makeup remover from Garnier. And I should actually take some cotton pads with me. I'll take some of these with me. Then I have the Laneige uh, Mini Cleansing Oil. So this is really good for massaging out the other makeup that I have on my face. Whereas this one is more just for eye and lip makeup. Especially because mainly I wear waterproof makeup. And then this one takes off face makeup like a charm. Then I have my facial cleanser. This one's by Sana and this is my absolute staple in my life essentially. Um, this one is a super gentle cleanser. It's a foaming cleanser and I've used this time and time again and I always go back to this so I'm going to bring this trusty one with me. Then after cleansing I have toner. This is the Purito Green Level Centella Asiatica Toner. And this one I have been loving and I'm actually on the way of purchasing the unscented version of this in the full size and I can't wait to just use it as my daily routine. I've also toned down on trying so many different products because my skin can only tolerate so many different products and I just want some consistency in my skincare routine so this is why I haven't been posting so much about skincare because I just want to calm down my skin and if you knew from my previous videos I've been suffering from acne and I've just trying to heal that. So the next thing I have is serum. This is the Purito Green Level Buffet Serum. This one is my, oh, I just love this. And this one is containing mainly Centella Asiatica and it's just really soothing for the skin. 
it's really calming and also it's helping me to brighten the skin with the niacinamide present and also calm and soothe the acne. Then I have the Pyongyang Yo Nutrition Cream. This is just a simple cream that I just want as an emollient to seal everything in. And this one is a sample size which is easy to travel. I do have a lot of sample sizes because of just different PR and, and just trying lots of gift with purchases. And this one is just the one that I'm going to choose for this round. The good thing about this one is that it's super hydrating. It's really good at sealing and soothing the skin. If I were to choose which moisture I would use, then I would probably either choose the Sana Soy Cream or the Dear Claire's Soothing Cream. Those are both amazing and beautiful moisturizers, but in the case of just having samples readily available, this one is my go-to for this trip. Then at night time, just in case it gets really dry at night time, I am going to bring the Laneige Sleeping Pack. This one is the lavender version and I like how it's miniature so that I can take it easily with me, but just in case it's very, very dry areas, I hands down need to have a sleeping mask just to seal everything in and protect from transepidermal water loss. So this one is my go-to. Then I also have a sunscreen because everybody needs a sunscreen. If you're not using sunscreen, hmm, my eyes are on you. And this one is from Laneige. It's the White Dew Tone Up Fluid and it's SPF 35 PA++. So this one is a bit of a tone up cream. So when you do apply this on, it does give that white glowiness to you. So if you're not into that, it's a bit like a white cast, but this one, I love this one. And especially with the whole sunscreen problem that is happening in Korean skincare, I'm still trying to wait for more of my sunscreens to come into the mail and then I can start using them instead because right now I'm still using the Dear Claire's um, UV Essence and also the Midday Blue UV Essence. So this one is my temporary go-to. Then I have two masks. I have two sheet masks. One of them is hyaluronic acid and one of them is madagascic acid. And this is from Innisfree. One is for hydration, which is the hyaluronic acid. And the madagascic acid is the one for soothing the skin in case anything, especially if you don't know whether your skin will become inflamed or irritated. This one is a definite must and it's actually one of my favorites. This one's more hydrating, but sometimes you need that pick me up. So this one's also a good handy one to have. I'm going to share this with my glamping partner and this one. And the last thing that I have in here is my Miss Dior Rose and Roses. This is in the 50 ml. I love this perfume so much that I'm just going to bring this whole bottle with me because I just love spritzing this everywhere. At home, I actually have the jumbo size. And I'll show you this now. So this is 50 ml and this is 150 ml. Like look at that. It's just a huge, huge bottle. I keep this at home just to spray everywhere. And this has actually become my on the go perfume. Before I used to think this is such a normal size, but ever since I got this, I feel like this is my new normal size. I just love this one so much. Okay, so that's all of my skincare. Um, and it all fits nicely in here. The good thing about this case is that it's waterproof, so if anything spills, then it's very easy to clean and it's just really easy to use. Then moving on to makeup, I am taking my beautiful black shimmery Dior makeup case that I got as a gift. And I love this. It's just so sparkly and elegant. So inside we have my main makeup brushes. So I've got a foundation brush, powder, blush, highlight, eyeshadow blending, and eyeshadow main color. And I also have a liner brush right here. So these are my staple brushes. Then the first thing that I have in here is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation. This one is just, oh, just gorgeous. This gives me that satin finish and I'm currently wearing it and it just makes me look flawless every time. I've used the older formula, which originally it was the L'Oreal True Match, but this one is, I feel like it's the same thing. And also everybody raves about it on TikTok. And I guess I loved it even before TikTok existed. So this one is my go-to. Then my next base makeup I wanted to bring with me is the L'Oreal Infallible Powder. This one I just gently dab onto my skin on areas where I don't want it to 
glow too much and this one is super handy because it's a simple powder not so messy it's got a mirror a sponge and it's just so easy to use then for highlight i love highlights so i just had to bring two just because so i have the maybelline molten rose gold and it's a beautiful rosy gold color and then because you can't have enough highlight i brought with me the dior highlighter and this is more of a golden tone this is in the shade 01 so this is a slightly rose color but it's more on the golden tone especially compared to this one then i have blush i wanted to bring with me the dior backstage rosy glow which is a very nice pinky girly color and then this one i have the sam single blusher and this one's more of a corally color in comparison to the dior this is in the shade orange 01 and then this one is in 01 pink then onto eyeshadow i have the dior backstage eye palette i love this one because the colors on here are just my favorite they have a base here which acts as a really good concealer then they have a neutral and then a shimmery gold which is really nice just to have that overall glow so then you can start using these pinky purpley shades which are really good for creating a smoky eye playing with color but also with this dark brown shade it works really well as a simple eyeliner and then apply with some mascara on top it's a very natural my eyes but very perked up so this one is an easy palette to take with me then i am taking with me the maybelline sky high mascara this is just a simple black mascara but it's very lightweight very wispy but also it shows up the mascara very well then i have my eyelash curler then i have lip color i have a few because i just cannot choose which one i want i have the superstay 24 color by maybelline I have two of them one of them is a more natural rose color and this is in perpetual rose 135 and then I also have a very neon pink color which is 145 feisty fuchsia so these are amazing colors they stay on the lips so well and when I drink from glasses and also eat ramen this stays on like a charm and the good thing about them is that they also come with a lip balm in there. I have two other colors. This one's more of a lip liner and this is from Maybelline as well. And it's for the fuchsia color. This one is from the same Superstay line, but this one is more of a matte finish compared to the original glossy finish. So this is more of a bright red color, which I'm currently wearing today. And I love this one. So you need a bright pink, bright red, and then a more softer tone pink and I feel like I am good to go. The last thing that I have in this makeup bag is a setting spray, and this one's by NYX. This is the dewy finish version, and this is actually really good. This one just feels really luxurious, and the mist is just so perfect and evenly distributed. I love this, and when I am going out for a walk or for a shoot, I want to look like my makeup is long lasting and super fresh so that is everything that i am bringing with me this is mainly for traveling to somewhere beautiful and you want to take really nice pictures and videos everywhere especially as someone who wants to dress up and roam around and try to dress up in different ways my main priority is skincare as you can see and i just love to bring as much with me as possible but not too much so that you have this whole 12 step skincare routine but something simple enough to keep your skin happy but also you can have fun playing around with lots of different looks i hope you enjoyed today's video if you like these type of videos then please do like and subscribe and if you just want to chat to me anything beauty fashion lifestyle then please do message me on instagram at how chic and i give you all of my hugs and my love bye